I just want to follow up uh, on a um, previous FOI that was rejected um, in regard to 17 Commonwealth funded gain of function research projects that increase the virulence of viruses in a laboratory. I've asked you this previously. Who is responsible for the oversight of those research projects given that they're designed to increase the virulence of a virus and we've just spent the last three years going through the COVID? So, Senator, I, I don't know that one. I could take it on notice to find out who would be responsible well, for that, but I it's, not ASIO's, it. yeah. it's not ASIO's um, issue to manage or regulate. Okay, I'd, I'd appreciate that because the risk of it, obviously, the virus is escaping from these 17 different uh, universities, I would have thought could be quite... You know, sure, sure. again, Senator, unless there was a, you know, an individual that was doing that for a whole range of threat security, whether or not a virus leaks some medical research, that's not a matter for ASIO to investigate or be concerned about. Yeah. Well, well, I guess that's the point. It, it is a threat to security if, if something goes wrong. There's a biosecurity hazard, yes, but it's not something that ASIO would focus on, unless right, there okay. is some <clears throat> extremist element to that that was looking to do that for some politically motivated cause. OK, well, could you find out just on notice who, I can who ask the would question, be responsible Senator. for the oversight of that? Yeah, cheers, thanks. So, uh, my understanding is, it's, is that it's uh, your agency that's responsible for reviewing the gain of function uh, no, really? research projects and, and, and basically Actually, providing funding. Who reviews those projects to make sure that the quality control is appropriate so that nothing goes wrong? Uh, I'm Anne Kelso, I'm CEO of the National Health and Medical Research Council. Uh, so thank you for the question. Uh, we, uh, the work you're talking about, I think, Senator, is the review, the review that we did for the previous Minister for Health, which was to investigate whether the Australian Government had funded or conducted any gain-of-function research uh, over the last 10 years. So we released that report uh, last April having yep. provided it to the Minister in March. So that was a specific review for a specific purpose and the report contains the material. Beyond that, uh, research grant proposals come through a normal review process if they're applying for funding from NHMRC or the MRFF, uh, and then uh, it's a question for ethics committees, biosafety committees, sometimes the OGTR to determine whether the project, if it's funded and happens to be relevant to the issues that you're raising, uh, has appropriate control and whether it should be done. So I just want to refer to page 19 of the Pfizer non-clinical report uh, and a first paragraph below the first table, uh, and I'll quote it for you, is that V8 and V9 have identical amino acid sequences of the encoded antigens and differ only in their codon optimisation sequences which were designed to improve antigen expression. Why did you originally redact that paragraph in the original Freedom of Information, given that that proved that the vaccine was gain of function that increased the toxicity <coughs> of the vaccine by increasing the spike protein? Uh, Senator, I don't have the relevant document in front of me, Chair, so I think we'll have to take that on notice. Take that on notice. Uh, no, I don't, well, OK. So, Oh, I've just read it out to you. But this vaccine increases the antigen expression right, of the spike protein. It increases the amount of protein made by the vaccine over the virus. Okay, a traditional virus is, a, a traditional vaccine, sorry, is genuinely attenuated, not, not empowered uh, with a greater expression making function. So do you Rennie, accept the vaccine is gain of function? It's been taken on notice. Um, we don't have do you accept the vaccine is a gain of function because of the codon optimisation? We don't optimization? have the document that you're citing Will from. Will you not interrupt me, please? Well, I'm trying to facilitate... No, 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 no. Like, don't interrupt me, Minister. Senators, we don't senators, have the document. I was listening, I was yes, listening carefully. We do. Senators, I was listening carefully. So Professor Skerritt has taken the first okay. question on notice. If you are directing this as a new question... He, he, can, he said he's not able to answer the questions okay. on that document. Question. Okay, so, so I'll go to the next question. question. Okay. No, well, no, he's no, taken it on time. notice, apologies. Not, not that time. he can't answer so it, that he'll come back to you. Agree? Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.